I'm a fanboy with humongous pegs. Buff Edward Scissorhands. I just had to add that voice comment. Felt like doing that. My ex girlfriends, one of them said I look like Edward Scissorhands because of my gothic visual. Uh, and Roger is looking like Stalin. This is how you really flex, bro. You just pump yourself up animal style. <laughs> get so big some people just get frightened by me going to the grocery store you know picking up some vegetables <laughs> completely casual Is masculinity with your modernity? I'm doing it my own way. <laughs> you can call me a feminist, sure, but weirdo and freak and whatever you want to call me. But I'm uh, bigger than most of you guys. So, at least, natural. I don't even take uh, supplements, creatine, you know, anything, so if you're going to compare me with some really anabolic mass monster, of course I'm small. <laughs> I'm just talking about anybody who does normal workout, you know, and dieting. This is my own hair. Makeup's uh, falling off. Uh, smearing off now. Watching the show in dark, like I said in a previous video, uh, it so it makes me so emotional when I see it. Uh, I just usually don't don't like watching anything that's too emotional, dramatic, because I get caught up in the feelings and the persons and the cast dying and the plot. You know, it's so sad when somebody dies in a show. I instantly <laughs> that I like, I instantly you know get sad. So uh, I didn't want to watch anything with drama, drama and romance with my exes in the past because uh, as a dude, you know, uh, we don't want to show ourselves weak and emotional, vulnerable and I hated everything with romance. Uh, drama, you know, I never told him why. I only wanted to watch horror and action and sci-fi and stuff. But now I saw, when I see something dramatic of people who are in love that finally get to kiss, you know, and I always get like, <laughs> like that, you know, about to cry my ear, my eyes tear up instantly, you know. I'm like, no, oh, this is sweet, you know, kissing each other, or somebody died, or father dies, or a mom, you know, or a pet or something, it's so sad. I feel emotions so strong for a dude, it's not average, I think, that's why I'm endogenous, my mind is... 50-50 I'm in contact with everything feminine and masculine at the same time, you know I would like how I pinned up my hair, you know Sorry for being sweaty I was doing push-ups This 
is not cross dressing, it's just the normal guy clothes, you know. Some of my followers are not like the most brightest specimens of humanity, so I need to over clarify myself 24 7 on my videos. As I showed you on my previous uh, flexings in the same video uh, segments, I'm really big for a feminine guy. Don't have defined, you know, abs or low, really low on fat on my body, you know, I still have some flab on my stomach, but I'm strong and big and feel healthy, you know. I have really big pecs. I've always wanted, always wanted to have big pecs. So uh, I'm happy with myself, even though I want to get a little bit leaner and cut loose something on my stomach, you know, I'm doing more cardio. The weeks without my daughter, I'm basically every day walking, hours. So hopefully I get more leaner on my body. But I still like how I look. I love myself. I don't care about any body ideals, I don't compare to others. No? Not whore, whores. I think some guys are checking out my ass. Somet my ass sometimes, you know, when I'm dressed like a dude with just tight jeans, I'm looking completely masculine. I think they are secretly checking me out. You know, you can get those vibes. It's funny. <laughs> Probably squeeze somebody to death between my toes. But you want that? 